Hello, my name is Zach Rissy, Product Specialist with New Leader Manufacturing. And today in this video, I'm going to discuss how to calibrate your conveyor on your NL5000 G5. More specifically in this, in this video, we are gonna discuss the static routine. So from the main screen, main run screen, we're gonna to go to our gear, which gets us into our calibration screen. And then what we're calibrating is the conveyor. So we're gonna go into conveyor. And like I mentioned, we're gonna do static routine. I am gonna cover field routine, but that's gonna be in a separate video. The process and the wizard for a static routine is identical from the main bin to the insert. Now they both have to be calibrated, but the wizard itself is the same. So I'm only gonna do a walkthrough through the main bin. So here we're gonna click static routine. And it's very, very simply going to walk you through a wizard. Now it's going to pop up every time with this alarm, basically saying to disable your spinner circuit, which I always, for safety purposes and safety reasons, I always unplug my PWM valves. First thing we're going to do is verify the feed gate height. Now on your 5000, it automatically knows where your feed gate height is. Again, they're hydraulic cylinders. We have we have feedback from our cylinders. So in this case, it knows we're at four inches. So we're, we're good there. But we do need to verify our product density. And in this case, we're gonna do some urea. So it's 48 pound density. And then enter dispense amount. This is the amount that you want the conveyor to dispense. Okay, I recommend doing at a minimum 600 pounds, um, just or greater. Um, the more you do, the more accurate it's going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and put in 800 pounds. We're going to go next. Okay. And from this page, this is where we're going to increase engine RPMs. So don't do this at an idle. Make sure you go to full engine RPMs, turn your PTO on. So you've got hydraulics and then you're going to hit the play button. As soon as you hit the play button, okay, conveyor is going to turn on. We're going to start dispensing product and this is going to count up and it's going to count all the way up to 800 pounds. You're going to catch that product in a skid loader bucket. And this will automatically stop when it thinks it's achieved 800 pounds. So you're not going to have to stop this. It will stop automatically. One thing to note, make sure that prior to going into the calibration screen, make sure you charge the conveyor. Uh, we need to make sure that if, if it's a twin bin system and you have the main bin and you're trying to calibrate that main bin, we have eight foot roughly of empty conveyor when you first load it. So make sure you run that product all the way back before you go into this wizard and do your catch test. That's very important. So let's assume that I have run this. We were close to 800 pounds here, it just stopped. We're going to go ahead and go to the next page and then basically here what it's asking for is the actual weight that it dispensed so at this point you're going to take the skid loader you're going to go weigh the product that it did actually dispense and plug it in here so let's say it actually dispensed you know 750 pounds We're going to go to the next screen and then it's going to automatically recalculate the CFR number here. Now it's saying zero because I'm, I'm in a simulated program and I was not able to actually run a conveyor. So it didn't think it dispensed anything to begin with. Um, obviously you would not see this uh, on your machine, but that that's the process. Now, if you want to repeat the process, you know, typically, you know, the first time, you know, it's going to get you close. Second time is going to get you on, and then third time is verification. Is is typically what we do and uh, what I would do. Um, you can simply hit repeat calibration here, and it's going to take you just right back to the beginning. If you're good with the CFR and everything was really really close, and you like it, go ahead and just hit the green check mark to accept it, and then it will automatically uh, accept that new CFR number. It will tell you to plug your spinners back in just so you don't forget. And then you can see now on the main bin, it saved that 0 .0000, which again, in this example, is just because I was unable to actually run the belt. 
that is how you do the calibration static routine.